Hello, my name is Troy Cole, and my presentation is over the last lecture by Randy Posh. Here's a little something about the book. The, lex the last lecture is a memoir that honors the ideals and morals that Randy have lived by. And through these morals and ideas, he wanted to have his students have a little something of himself and including his children. Because all his children were young, they weren't they will not basically be able to get to know their father. So through his last lecture, he wants to be able to leave a little something for his children to grow up and know something about his father. And here's my thesis. My thesis is do or do not, there is no try. Randy diagnosed with his cancer. All he was focused on was trying to do was make his last lecture for his students. And through his last lecture, he left some not only for his family, but also for his friends to remember him by. So that way they would never forget him. And the thesis sticks out to me because Randy, though he was dying, he wasn't trying. He knew that he was going to try to make this last lecture. He knew he was going to do the last lecture for his family and for his friends. And through these last lec and through his last lecture and through this memoir, here are a few chapters I had chosen out that I that I will use through my lifetime. And the first one will be be the first penguin. In this chapter, he was talk. He gave an award that was a penguin to his group that had went over and above for their project, but failed. And this sticks out to me because failure is essential in life. And a lot of people today are afraid to fail. And through failure, you gain experience. And this is a quote that stuck out to me that Randy said, experience is what you get when you didn't get what you wanted. And through failure, you get experience. And experience in the long run, long run is more and more valuable because that is something that you could put on a resume and you could tell and you could say through this failure, I've gained this, this, and this. My next one was watch what they do, not what they say. Be a person of action rather than words, because actions speak louder than words. And this to me sticks out because being a man of action shows way more than saying than than saying and doing. Being a man of action is way more valuable than being a man of words. Words don't mean anything if you don't do it, if you don't do what you say. And this to me tells me that rather than say what I'm going to do, I need to do what I said I was going to do. And I'm gonna apply this because in the healthcare setting, you have to be a man of your word, and you have to also be a man of action. Because if something do happens and nobody's there, you have to be able to perform that duty, regardless if you can or cannot. Next is, don't complain, just work hard. And here's a quote that stuck out to me was, the only thing complaining does is convince other people that you are not in control. Complaining leads you at a standstill because all you do is look at the negative output in life rather than the positive. I'm a bit of a complainer, so this stuck out to me because a man that was in Randy's book was quadriplegic. And rather than look at the negatives in life, all he did was continue to look at the positives. And he never let that quadriplegicness he never let his quadriplegic uh, paralysis uh, hinder him. All he kept on doing was look at the positives in life. So with this, I'm gonna apply not complaining, no, not complaining as much. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna complain as much, but I'm gonna show that I'm gonna work harder rather than be stuck in a complacent setting. I'm gonna work hard so I can move forward and do better with myself. Next, we have a skill set called leadership. And in this chapter, Randy discussed how he had a love for the Star Trek TV show. And he described how each member on the USS Enterprise had a role and distinct, a, distinct, a distinct skill that many had on the ship. And he described Kirk as leadership. Kirk is what held the glue together on his ship. And to me, leadership is a skill set that many need in life because you shouldn't be a follower. Being a leader speaks more to a person than being a follower. Yes, I believe that you must be able to follow in order to lead, but in today's society, there are a lot of followers rather than there are leaders. So to me, I'm gonna use this skill set to apply to be a better leader because that shows not only to people, but also for your job that being a leader, that you are a leader, and that will get you farther in life than being a follower. 
because that shows that when you see something that needs to be done, you're gonna do it. When you see people that need a helping hand, you're not afraid to go out there and help them. So being a leader is an essential element to a healthcare setting because that shows that you're not afraid to take charge when you need to and that you are not afraid to lead a group of medical specialists when let's say you're in a surgery or whatnot. So I'm gonna apply leadership in my everyday aspect because I wanna be able to show that I can take charge when I need to and also I'm not afraid to follow when I need to. And that's it for my presentation. Uh, thank you for listening and everybody have a good day. Thank you.